Hello and welcome to yet another tutorial by Davies Media Design. My name is Michael Davies and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to cut text out of shapes using Inkscape. So let's start by drawing a shape here. I'm just going to grab my rectangle tool, draw a rectangle, and we can click on a random color in here. Let's actually go with this red color. So here we have a rectangle. Then I'll come over and grab my text tool and I'm going to click on my canvas with the caps lock key on and I'm just going to type cut out text. If I hit the control A key that will select all the text and I can go to text, text and font or use shift control T. So here we have the text and font dialog up and I'm just going to go with this bungee text. This is a free font that I downloaded from a free font website. If you're not sure how to download and install fonts for Inkscape I'll include a link to a video on how to do that. But once I have this selected I'll click apply and that will change my text to that bungee text. And I can either use the font size or just grab my select tool and use the handles while holding the control key to click and drag this out. Here's our text, so I'm going to drag this on top of the shape. So I'm going to be using a mask to cut this text out of the shape. And the thing you need to understand about masks is that black on a mask is going to create transparency. White is going to create opacity. It's the same thing with layer masks inside a GIMP, if you guys are familiar with GIMP. So right now our text is black, which means it's going to totally cut the text out of the shape. But what I need to do is shift click on our shape so that both of these are selected. And then I can go to object, mask, and if I go to set, it's going to leave us with a red set of text. So the text will still be here. It'll just take on the color of the shape below. But if I choose set inverse, that's going to cut the text out of the shape. And now you'll see that when I drag this over the border here of our canvas, you can see through the text. So our text has successfully been cut out. I'll hit control Z to back up until we get to this portion again. So as I mentioned, if I went with white, this would remain fully opaque. So in other words, the text basically would just disappear here. So let me shift click and I'll go to object, mask, set inverse. So there you'll see the text just disappears there. I'll hit control Z to back up again to the beginning. Now if I click on the text and change the color of the text to a middle gray color, this will create partial transparencies because this is in between black and white. So if I shift click on the shape, I'll go to object, mask, set inverse and there you'll see this is partially transparent so we can still see through it but it's not totally see-through so it's going to keep some of that red from the original shape. I'll hit control Z to back up so the cool thing about this is that we can also create a gradient on our text so making sure my text is selected here by clicking on it I can come over here and grab my gradient tool and just click and drag my gradient across my text and then what I can do is click on a handle. So this handle is active right now. And let's say I want to change this to partial transparency. So that's going to be a gray color. And then I can come over here and click on this handle of the gradient and change this to black. So that'll be full transparency. I'll then grab my select tool and shift click on the rectangle behind the text. And now when I go to object, mask, set inverse, That'll cut the text out, but it'll do it with a gradient where on the left side you have full transparency and on the right side you have partial transparency. And as I move this along the border there of the canvas, you can see the levels of transparency there. So let's back up. There's one last thing I want to show you. So if I come over here and click on the none option, that will remove the fill from here. And then if I shift click on a color, for example, black, that will add a stroke around my text. And now if I shift click on the shape here and go to object, mask, set inverse, that will then cut out the text, but it'll only cut out the stroke area. So you can see when I hover like so, only the stroke of the text has been cut out because that was the only area that had a color. And also I can release the text by going to object, mask, release. So that's going to remove the text from the mask let me click off of this, click on the text. Let's come over and fill this with a gray color just by left clicking there. So the inside of this will now be partially transparent, whereas the stroke will be fully transparent since that's black. So I'll shift click on the shape one last time, object, mask, set inverse. And there you can see the result of that. So let me release this. I'll go to object, mask, release. 
I also want to point out that it's kind of difficult to add a picture into text using Inkscape 1.0. I do recommend if you want to do something like that, that you use GIMP instead because the method inside of Inkscape is going to be buggy, at least Inkscape 1.0, and it can cause Inkscape to crash and it can be hard to get the final result you're looking for. All right, but that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, you could check out my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Davies Media Design. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can also check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.